Hey everyone, I'm Cole from Branson Tourism Center and you're watching my day off. I'm about to head over to the National Tiger Sanctuary right now for a tour of the Big Cats. We're going to learn about all the good things they're doing over there. And if you have questions about the National Tiger Sanctuary or want tickets, give this number a call right here. But let's head on over. My name is Sam Blecka. I'm one of the staff members at the National Tiger Sanctuary in Branson, Missouri. We are a big cat rescue, currently housing 37 big cats with a range from lions, tigers, leopards, and mountain lions. Um, our goal here is a uh, conservation effort through education and preservation of animals that are in captivity. We do provide tours for the public to come out and visit the animals to learn a little bit about what these cats are going through, and those tours are offered Wednesday through Sunday at 10 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 2 o'clock, and 4 o'clock. Is that yummy? Got a good morning snack? Whose territory this is? Anybody? You ready for your morning snack? He is on a special kidney medication that prevents him from eating throughout the day, so he can only have snacks in the morning and the evening. So he usually comes out for me in the morning because he knows he's he going to get some chicken. Yeah. This is Princess so, and Precious. They are two white tiger sisters, as you can see. Um, they actually came from the same magic show that Merlin came from. Hey so, girl, we'll see if she'll let her sister have one. Sometimes they're not great about sharing. So unfortunately, we haven't seen a white tiger. Hey girl. When they get excited, they turn their head all the way around sometimes. Um, so a lot of times we call these cats black panthers, but the name panther actually comes from the genus name panthera. That includes lions and tigers. So calling things panthers isn't very accurate, actually. So more specifically, Blackie is a black leopard, and he actually does still have spots. Tina's got some other health issues that um, kind of set her back a little bit. Um, but, you know, she's, she's a really friendly, happy cat. Um, we're trying to take care of her as best as we can in her old age, um, but a lot of times she doesn't come out. So it is pretty special that you guys get to see her. So Bambi, as we are saying, she is a leopard. Um, leopards are really cool cats. We sometimes think of lions and tigers as being the most intimidating, scary cats, but really leopards are very impressive cats. They're very stealthy, very quiet, very clever. If and they, they had to, they could live totally off of insects. So they don't have to eat just what we think of um, as meat all the time. If they needed to, they could live off of bugs. So a lot of times these are the cats that will move into villages and towns and things whenever their habitats start disappearing. So whenever the forests are getting cut down and things like that, a lot of times they'll move into populated areas and nobody knows they're there because they are so stealthy and quiet. She is very gorgeous. She actually knows that she's gorgeous. So a lot of times she doesn't come out of her bedroom. Um, she likes to keep her coat clean, doesn't like to get her paws muddy, so she spends a lot of time grooming, and she spends a lot of time in her bedroom. Sierra is one of our tigers. Yep, we have 14 lions here. Max, though. Watch out, guys. Watch out, guys. So this is Judah and Matula. So the big male right here, his name is Judah. Matula is the female sitting under a platform back there. Um, this is one of our couples on our sanctuary, one of the uh, the uh, bre or, uh, matching pairs on our sanctuary here today. Um, and the time that you see on our sanctuary, these cats that do live together, is purely because they came together. They've always lived together, and we feel comfortable keeping them safe together. And with lions, they are um, a social species. So this is a very natural pairing for these two. Matula is probably our most playful, one of our most playful cats on our sanctuary. She loves to come out and see people and interact and play, um, and that's always really fun for people to see. But both very, very big and very beautiful animals, so. He's not real, I'm surprised he's not kind of growling at you right now, because he's, hey. <laughs> hey, you know, that's enough. Yeah, we know. <laughs> um, he doesn't like men a whole lot. <laughs>